Hi, it's Willie Crawford here, and uh, I'm coming at you with another Facebook Live. Today is Wednesday. I got a glass at my calendar here. Wednesday, uh, September 18th, and today I'm going to talk to you about choosing a domain, but I'm going to do it by pointing out some of, I'm choosing a niche, but I'm going to uh, point out some of the domain names that I own that I'm actually trying to sell or I'm offering for sale at discount prices. And in the process, I'm going to share with you why I like those domain names. So what I'm trying to do there is uh, explain to you, you know, what about the domain name is attractive, and uh, hopefully that'll spark some ideas for you on um, how to how to choose a, a niche and how to select domain names that are memorable, that are um, that will bring people in, that will get the search engines to notice them. And it'll make you a lot of sales. So that's that's what today's uh, this conversation is going to be about. Uh, we're only a minute in. No one's had a chance to join us yet. I'm going to glance at my notes real quick to see where I was headed with this. Okay. Um, okay. I'm still waiting on a few people to join us, and as they do, I'll uh, I'll bounce back and forth, I guess, uh, between my notes and talking to you guys. Uh, and this has been recorded, so uh, as soon as it's over with, I'm going to then um, share the recording all over um, Facebook and probably over on LinkedIn too. Uh, yeah, I'll share it on link. I'll upload it to YouTube, and from YouTube, share the link to LinkedIn because LinkedIn only allows you to share videos of a certain length, and uh, this one will probably go longer or be bigger in file size than YouTube will allow you to upload. And then, then I link them will allow you to upload. So that's the way you get around that. Um, why don't I go ahead and get started, though? We're two minutes in, and I don't want to waste a lot of your time. Um, so today, I'm going to run down a list of domain names. I'm going to give you the URLs to those, those domain names to check out, any that are, are of interest to you, and I'll explain why I think, and, and based on my personal experience and my background, that each domain name is valuable, okay? And again, since many of you are struggling to figure out what niche you want to go into, uh, I'll share my thought process and perhaps that'll spark some ideas. I know a lot of you look at me and you say, well, you made, uh, you, you built your reputation and earned a lot of your income uh, in the internet marketing space. And that's a space where you sell goods and services, mostly info products and, uh, I, most of my career, taught other people how to build a business in that same space. And so a lot of people, when they, they come online, they come across people like me, and the first thing they think of is, well, I'll get into internet marketing. Right? And it looks like an easy niche to get into, to break into. Let me grab some water. But it's not that easy to break into. And the reason it's not is because of the competition. <laughs> in that space, you have a lot of uh, people who were copywriters, who were experts at persuasion long before they got into the internet marketing business. So you're competing against people who are very seasoned experts. And I think you're better off learning the skills that, they, that you need from them, but applying those skills in other niches. You know, so you learn copywriting, you learn persuasion, you learn how to uh, write a web page and upsells and cross sales and down sales and all those things and then you apply them in spaces where the people you're competing against aren't as uh, savvy about marketing as the internet marketers are that's what you want to do okay but, you, but i don't think you want to compete head to head with uh, you know somebody who's been in internet marketing for 20 or 30 years and some were copywriters long before they started in internet marketing so you know, you're up against some very difficult competition, okay? Now, um, as I start going down the list of domain names that I'm going to show with, show you, uh, you'll notice a number of things. Uh, one is you'll notice I like what I call set it and forget it type of domain names. And that's where I like to set up small sites, simple sites, where I sell usually one product or a product line, and then I do things to get that site noticed by the search engine, such as putting up a video, putting up some articles, blog posts, and things like that. 
And once the site is noticed by the search engines, once it's indexed, uh, if it's a set it and forget it type site, uh, then a, a lot of work, a lot of maintenance is not required. Those are the type of sites that I like, okay? I also like uh, local domain names. And one of the biggest reasons I like those is because uh, there's only so many businesses of each type in an area. So if you, or once you manage to rank near the top of the search engines for that specific industry in that specific area, uh, you're facing actually very low competition. And given that you've studied marketing, hopefully, uh, they're not really competitors. You can outmarket them. And so you'll get near the top of uh, the search engines in your category and you'll attract the organic traffic. You'll step in front of that traffic and, and you'll do quite well. The other thing about local uh, domain names is if any of you, go on your smartphones or even on your, your desktops or laptops and you type in a search term like pizza uh the the browsers a lot of the browsers the technology behind the browsers and the search engines tell uh are told where you're at they, they can figure out your location so they naturally show you if pizzeria is near you or if you type in you know used Ford cars, it would show you the Ford dealers near you. Uh, that That's built into the search technology. So again, I like local search because if I'm working with a client in a certain city, um, all they need to do is get their potential customers to type in what they're looking for, and it's going to default to their area first. And so it, it's this is very powerful. Um, now, all of the domain names I'm going to be talking to you or showing you today are aged premium domain names. Premium means, you know, they, they have a higher value than you know, your run-of-the-mill domain names. Aged means that they were previously owned or are owned by someone now. I mean, it, basically, they're already in the search engines. They're already getting traffic uh, because they've been around for a while, sometimes for a decade or more. Um, they are, they are given more credence by the search engines, and so they rank higher. So if you can find an aged domain name, uh, you're better off. And the ones I'll be showing you are almost all aged. And the, what you do is you look for uh, domain names that were dropped, that were not renewed by the owner, and you can find a list of these out on the internet. I'll point you to some uh, probably today. But uh, actually, you could Google um, uh, age domain names or expired domain names, and you'd, you'd be pointed in the right direction there. But when you can find these, uh, what happens is after someone doesn't renew a domain name, uh, after a certain time frame, that domain name becomes available to the public again. And what you want to do is be watching for these certain ones, and then you want to go out and bid on them, and you pay whatever the going rate is. I pay. For for most of the ones I buy, I pay $9 each. And that's because the registrar that I use is charges $9 each. Some charge more, some charge a lot less. Uh, I like the registrar that I use. And because I like the registrar that I use, uh, uh, and I use uh, name Silo is the one I use. The reason I like them is because they don't hit you with endless upsells. You go there and you type in a domain name, It'll look and see if it's available. If it is, you just tell it buy it, and it buys it for you. So, um, and they don't offer you any upsells, and they don't try to sell you ten years and, and hit you like uh, some some registrars do with all kinds of upsells and cross sales. And uh, some registrars will give you a low rate the first year, and then the second or third year they'll hit you with an increased rate, which is above the industry average. So, but my registrar doesn't do any of that crap you know so that's why i like them um see um all of the domain names that i am going to mention to you are going to be on my website which is at willycrawford.org and then uh it's a forward slash the number number one and then dash number two so uh, i just typed into the window and what i did was i put a space between the d and crawford and the ONORG, or the 
period. And the reason I did that is because Facebook has a tendency to mess with links when you when you type them in. But if you don't enter all the way to the uh, extension or the TLD, then they don't mess with the link. Uh, so it's WillieCrawford.org. You need to back that space out. Uh, a lot of the links I give you today will be WillieCrawford.org. But actually, everything, every the domain that I'm going to show you today, just about, will be on this at this uh, link I just gave you, which is WillieCrawford.org forward slash one dash two, and then you need another slash. Probably it may or may not require it, depending on a lot of things. But uh, all those domains I'm going to show you today are uh, there. And what what I did was. I looked at all the domains I have, and I said to an, an assistant, can you go and, I gave them my notes, and I said, can you go and put this on my website? And so they're still working on it. And so uh, when we go over and we look at it, uh, you're not going to see all of the domains I have. I have like well over 100 that I want to uh, offer to people, to you, at below market value. I mean, and I'm talking, you know, domain names that are potentially worth, uh, thousands of dollars now offer some as low as like fifty dollars just because i don't need them um, they're just sitting there in a year i'll have to pay to re renew the domain name and so if i'm not using it i typically will get rid of it i can hold on to it and wait for you know someone to bid what the domain name's worth but to me it's just as expeditious to just offer it to you my my listening audience and my my subscribers i'm going to offer it to my subscribers too uh, just offer it to you at a bargain price and let you take it and, and run with it, okay? So I'm actually going to go to, well, let me look at my notes again. Make sure I go through the way I want to, okay? Uh, I know they've only put up a few listings thus far, and the reason that they have is because it takes time to do that. I gave them a long list uh, to put up. And so if you go back and you'll check at the WillieCrawford.org forward slash one dash two uh, throughout the day or throughout the week even, you will be able to see a constantly updated list of the main names I'm making available to you. And as one sells, uh, I'll have that one deleted from the list and I'll add new ones to the list. And so it'll be a constant, I'll, I'll make sure it's updated once every day or two. Um, now all of these domain names, uh, have been appraised professionally as being worth at least $500. Some of them are in the thousands. And I, again, I'm gonna offer some of these to you for as little as like 50 bucks, but uh, the probably average I'll ask is two or 300 bucks. Um, now, I learned domaining, the art of buying and selling domains, investing in domains and things like that from uh, Gene Pimentel. Gene has a course called, uh, he has a package of five courses that he calls Domain Profits Boss. I'll give you that URL too. You can check it out at your convenience and if you want to. This is where I learned most of what I know about domaining from. And I say most because uh, my background in um, college was in economics and I took a lot of courses in uh, analyzing statistical data, analyzing uh, census data, Looking at a market and figuring out, you know, what people in that market want. So I come from that background. So I, I look at some things differently than the average person does. Uh, but everything that I know about domaining, I started learning from Gene back in around 2009 when I first met him at a seminar. And he has a package called Domain Profits Boss, which is at WillieCrawford.org forward slash Domain Profits Boss. I typed it in, but again, I put an extra space before the .org, WillieCrawford.org forward slash domain profits boss. Uh, that course is like, that's a package of five courses, uh, and that package sells for under $40, and that package is worth probably several hundred times what it sells for because it's taught me so much. It really has. Uh, so I recommend that. And when you get that package, Gene has on the back end an upsell, which is a course he calls Master Domaining. I think that's like 47 bucks. And that's, uh, I think right now he's up to like 86 lessons. Every lesson is a short video lesson where he teaches something about domaining. So it, it's intended to be uh, 
digest it day by day, just every day, a short uh, 15, 20 minute lesson, if they're even that long. Uh, just covering something that you need to grasp, some resources, some tips about domaining. And uh, I've gone through all five of the courses in the, uh, the Domain Profits Boss course, and I've gone through the Master Domaining Training, which again, I mentioned is an upsell after you go or after you purchase Domain Profits Boss, which is again, less than $40. Um, mm -hmm. That's where I learned what I'm going, what I do, okay? Now, as I go through uh, and show you the domain names, or I explain why I own those domain names, why I invested in them, or why I had clients invest in them, uh, I work on a lot of projects with or for clients, and sometimes they change their minds, we change our minds, we start out with one domain name and decide to go with something else or shift the direction that we're going. When that happens, uh, I often will buy the domain name or have it you know, in my possession. And so some of the domains I'll show you will be uh, domains I gained as a result of working client projects. When you want to check the value of the domain name, because I'm going to throw some, I, well, I'm not going to give you the value of each domain name, but when you go to my blog, uh, which is at willycrawford.org forward slash one dash two, um, that is a blog. Uh, and it will show you a list of domain names. Uh, if you click on any of the links on that page, it'll take you over to another page, which is physically on the domain that is mentioned. And there, there's a form you can fill out saying, I'm interested in this domain. Uh, I, I bid, you know, 100 bucks or whatever. Uh, and on the, those domains, I, I most of the time will state a minimum bid that I'll accept for that domain. But if you want to see what a domain is actually worth, uh, you can go to a site called Estabot. Estabot is a um, Estabot is a computer generated valuation service. It, it looks at a domain name and based on a number of factors, such as even like the length of the name, the TLD, and a lot of other things, it tries to determine what that domain name is worth. Well, a computer algorithm can't really do it as, as well as a human can do it because a human can look at things like uh, current events and, and, and a lot of things that you don't plug into a computer formula. And so um, I, you know, go with human, um, a human generated evaluation of what a domain name is worth. And I, Encourage you to do that too, although they're expensive. So if you just go to Estabot, the link I just gave you. Uh, on that page, you can enter any domain name you want, and it will give you an estimate of the value of that domain name. And this is just an estimate. You can go to any 20 or 10 experts and ask them to give you a value on a domain name, and you'll get 10 or 20 different answers. And it's because a domain name or any product or service for that matter is worth what someone is willing to pay for it, okay? Not a penny more, not a penny less, or what you're willing to forego in order to hang on to your property. You know, if you say, well, I'm not gonna sell it for that price, well, then it's to you, it's worth more. And so you, it's an opportunity cost of you hanging on to it. So that's what determines the value of a good or a service, okay? And I see uh, Red Marilou has joined us. She's from over in the Philippines, I met her. Uh, in Manila last time I was there uh, three years ago, I guess it was. Um, thanks for joining me. And I see there's several other people that will join who haven't um, started entering things in the chat window yet. Uh, thank you. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go over to my site, which is at willycrawford.org forward slash uh, one dash two. Okay. And I'm going to do that because what's happened is my team members have listed a few domain names that are for sale. And I'm gonna run down the list because this will be like, sort of like my notes, okay? And the first one you're going to see is a domain name, abilineautoinsurance.com, okay? Abilene, Texas, Abilene, Texas is a, it's a thriving, huge city uh, with 120,000 people. Uh, and the population includes a lot of insurance agencies, of course, because you've got a, over 120,000 people who most of them drive cars. 
And so the site is ideal for somebody who either runs an insurance agency or wants to run a business where they generate leads for the insurance agency. Now, Abilene, Texas, I, I mentioned two, I'll mention two cities that are named Abilene, because in some countries in the US, we have uh, sometimes 10, 20 cities all with the same name. Uh, Abilene, Texas is a college town. It's got at least one university I'm aware of. And it also has Dias Air Force Base, which is where they uh, first tested the B-1 bomber. I'm not sure what they have there now, but it's a huge Air Force Base. And they've got all these, uh, all this restricted airspace where they go out and they fly low level missions and practice and things like that. So the base is not going anywhere soon. It's, it's huge. And in fact, I'm fairly certain that it's a hurricane evacuation base. So if a hurricane hits the United States, um, say the East Coast, the most of the military is going to move ex expensive equipment out of the way. So the Air Force is going to fly its airplanes, which you know, start off at like 60, 70 million and go up into the billions. Uh, they're going to move those someplace where they're not going to get ripped apart by a storm. The Navy's going to move ships the same way. You know, they're not going to have the ships sitting in the uh, Harbor uh, banging against each other, they're going to send them out to sea away from the storm. So Abilene, I'm sure, is a hurricane evacuation base. But the base is going to get a lot of use for a long time. That's why I mentioned that. So Abilene Auto Insurance is a good one for you to check out. Uh, there's another town called Abilene, Kansas, another city. They've got about 6,600 people. So a lot of insurance agencies there, but not as big. Sticking with Abilene. Uh, the second domain name I'll mention, and the second one you'll see on my blog, is Abilene Limousine. Now, Abilene, again, has 120,000 plus people. They've got colleges and they've got the military there. And so you've got young military people who have all kinds of balls and weddings and things like that. So they're always renting limos, so are college students. And again, uh, the Abilene Limo name is ideal for anyone who runs a limousine service or even a taxi service. Uh, giving people rides to special occasions where they want to show up and be all fancy, or even to the airport. Uh, so it's a good name to own if you run a tax or a limo service, but also a good name that you can buy and then turn around and resell. Because again, I'm offering a name at well below market value. And you can even uh, buy it and rent it out to a business where you send them customers and they pay you uh, so much per month to rent the domain name from you, okay? The third one uh, is attorneyintulsa.com. Tulsa, Oklahoma is a thriving metropolis with a population of almost 402,000 people. It's huge. You And you know, with a city of 402,000 people, there are a lot of lawyers. So any lawyer in uh, Tulsa would probably be happy to have that domain name because what happens is when somebody needs a lawyer or an attorney, they go to the search engine and they type in attorney and they might might type in attorney Tulsa or attorney in Tulsa and uh, it's going to show up. If they just type in attorney, if they're in Tulsa, the, the again, the mobile device is going to detect they're in Tulsa and it's going to show them Tulsa attorneys. And so just by owning that domain name, they'll get in front of a lot of traffic and it, it's worth it to a lawyer firm, a law firm to own that or to rent it from somebody else, okay? Uh, the next one I, I have listed on my blog is autoauctionsearch.com. Hey, you know, there was a time when, when somebody wanted to buy a car, they went to the local car dealer and they bought the car. Today, we live in a global economy and I don't know about you, but when I want a car, I do price shopping. I do price comparison, you know, and I don't think in terms of, I have to buy from the local car dealer. You know, I, I can go to anywhere in my state, anywhere in the country, really, because if I save enough money, it's worth it to have it shipped to me, you know, on a, a, a truck that, that moves cars, or I can go out and pick it up. Uh, so I shop the country, and with auto auctions, uh, I can bid on a car, but also a lot of car dealers bid on cars. They, they buy, you know, five, 10 cars at a time, have them shipped to them, and that's how they get their used cars in particular. So owning that domain name uh, can be pretty powerful because you can uh, use it to allow people to search for cars and you can set up some type of a membership site 
or have some type of commission arrangement where you get paid for helping to sell cars, or you send uh, customers to a local car dealer even. And uh, so very powerful. Another one I have listed on my blog is BaltimoreTransmission.com. Baltimore, Maryland uh, has 622,000 people. It's a major city. And anytime that someone has a problem with their car, like a transmission problem, they have to get it fixed or, they, or they're walking. And so they're going to go and look for an auto repair shop or a transmission specialist. And if they're in Baltimore, it's natural to look for a Baltimore transmission or just type in the word transmission. And it's going to, again, show them someplace in Baltimore. So someone who owns that domain name is going to step in front of that traffic. And if you own the domain name, you can send it to a car repair shop or a transmission specialist. You can rent the site out to them or you can charge for each customer you send to them. This is very powerful. Um, the next domain name I have listed that my team's gotten around to, we, we, we went A through Z, but they're, they're just not getting started, um, is bartender liability insurance. Um, in the US, people go to bars, they drink too much, they get drunk, they go out, they get in accidents, and then they think, I'm going to sue the bar for selling me too much to drink. Bartenders are trained to, to look at a, a patron, and if the patron looks drunk, to stop serving them. That's what they're supposed to do. But if that patron goes out and gets in an accident, and, and it can be determined later on that the bar should have known the patron was already too drunk to serve more drinks, they can sue that bar. And so a lot of bars will have insurance for that. So uh, this name is perfect for insurance companies that sell uh, liability insurance in particular. But you could also buy this domain and sell it to an insurance company, any insurance company in the United States or Canada, uh, the UK, uh, Singapore, places that have similar laws, uh, it, it would work. But um, see, the UK, most of their domain names in and .uk, and this ends in .com. So probably you want to go for a US business, but you can buy this, uh, and it's listed at probably a fifth of what it's worth. So you turn around and you sell it. Uh, or you um, generate leads for an insurance company, and you they pay you per lead. So again, it's a very good domain name to own. The next one I have listed is best domain and hosting. This is for somebody who wants to sell domain names and or web hosting. Uh, people who go to the pay-per-click search engines and bid on the term uh, domain and hosting, that term in particular, uh, they pay up to $12 per click uh, to get visitors just to go over and look at their website. So it's extremely extremely competitive term. And so when you own that domain name, anybody type, types in that search term, they're going to see your domain name first. I mean, that's the way it works typically. And uh, you can use this domain name to sell web hosting or domain names, or you can use it to sell traffic to others who run companies that sell the same thing. Uh, on the internet, anyone who controls the, the flow of traffic it's very powerful because everybody, every business in the world needs customers through their doors, online or offline. And so stepping in front of that traffic, controlling it is extremely powerful. And when you sell uh, something like when you rent out a website uh, as a lead generator or you sell web hosting, you're setting yourself up with a monthly income where you get paid month after month after month. You make the sale once and you get paid forever. And you know if you're selling leads uh some, some web hosting company buys leads from you they know that if they stop buying the leads from you you're going to just turn around and offer it to a competitor so they're not going to stop buying them from you as long as your prices are reasonable and so it you set yourself up there for a long-term income that comes in month after month after month after month uh, that's one of the five models that my friend gene pimentel teaches and uh you know, you, you set up. A, I'm doing that right now. I'm. I'm. I'm uh, I just turned 60. I'm getting ready to retire, and in preparation for that, even though I already have pensions and stuff that I've earned from my military career and all that, uh, I am building out a chain, an empire of 
rank and rent websites. Websites that I'll rank and then rent out to uh, generate leads for car dealers, for insurance companies, for doctors, lawyers, chiropractors, uh, accountants, uh, people that do roof repairs and paint houses and landscaping, all those people. I'm building out a huge um, empire, if you will, of websites that I'll just run out to other businesses and I'll have income coming in month after month after month after month. And that uh, uh, lawyer knows, or dentist knows that if he doesn't pay the rent uh, on the website this month, then I'll turn around and rent to another dentist in his area, one of his competitors. And so I, he's not gonna stop renting from me as long as my rent's reasonable. And with the rank and rent model that I use, uh, it's some of the cheapest advertising, cheapest source of traffic that they'll find anywhere. So it's very, very powerful. And that's why I recommended Gene's uh, course earlier, okay? Now the next URL that I have on my blog is cassette to mp3converter.com. So it's cassette to mp3converter.com. And I, I grabbed that domain name because I was unpacking a bunch of boxes in my uh, storage, for my storage unit, and I have all these cassette tapes from years ago when cassettes were popular. And I was on the verge of throwing them out. And I thought it'd be nice to be able to transfer those to something I could listen to today. And I went online and typed convert cassettes to MP3. And lo and behold, there are converters. I, I, I noticed the ones on Amazon.com. And uh, I thought, you know, it'd be neat to step in front of the traffic of people looking to buy a cassette to MP3 converter. And that's why I initially grabbed this domain name, but now I'm willing to let it go dirt cheap. All you do is set up a, um, a website that talks about converting your cassette to MP3s and point them to amazon.com using your affiliate link. And once you do that, maybe you put a few articles on your site, a little content talking about converting that those oldies but goodies, oldies but goldies. And uh, people will, people who love their old music and their old training materials, whatever, they will uh, you know, find your site and from there they'll go to Amazon, they'll buy Amazon's products and you'll earn a commission from that. And when they go to Amazon to buy the products, anything they buy on Amazon during that visit will earn your commission. And Amazon puts a cookie that I don't remember how long it is, but when the person returns and makes other purchases, um, you would earn a commission off their additional purchases. So this is, this is very powerful, very powerful. And again, all these uh, domain names I'm mentioning to you again, they're found on willycrawford.org forward slash the number one dash the number two and uh it's willacroft.org forward slash one dash two and uh that'll take you over to my blog where you'll find all these domain names plus another 50 60 that my team still has a list today okay and they're all priced below way below market value you know so you could buy any of these turn around and put them on the market and sell them and make three four or five times your money back if you're patient you know you, you you can't. You have to wait for people to find you, or you have to get their attention. Okay. The next domain name I list is customfunnytshirts.com. Customfunnytshirts.com. Selling t-shirts right now is a huge, huge business uh, in, in a lot of parts of the internet. Uh, and the reason is, is that you can go and set up a e-commerce store, or t-shirt store, and show all these different t-shirts you have for sale. You don't have to keep any inventory. People look at your catalog, and if they're custom, maybe they can put their name on them, whatever. They can customize them. But when they pick out what they want and they order it, order it, there are fulfillment companies that will print the T-shirt, send it to the customer, collect the customer's credit card information, take their part for printing the shirt, and send you your part. All you've done is set up a website that. Uh, basically displays pictures of t-shirts. Very, very easy to do. And I know people making tens of thousands of dollars, some of them that much in a month. I don't think that's typical, but I know people who are doing extremely well. And that's all they do is sell t-shirts. They're huge, you know, especially if you come up with some of your own designs, you know, something that's funny or catchy or whatever. 
So, you know, consider grabbing that domain name for that reason. Let me see what other domain names I have there. The next one I have is cutebabynames.com. Now, this is perfect for someone who sells merchandise to expectant parents. You know, a, a uh, you could set up a website that sells um, baby things, everything from pampers and baby formula to training on, on how to make sure you're you're healthy and the baby's healthy and how to take care of the baby basically too. Babies don't come with training manuals. Uh, and if you structure the site right, you can capture information. You know, they fill in a form and you, you find out, you know, the baby's sex. And after the baby's born, maybe you get the birthday or something. You enter them in a birthday club or something. You have to comply with certain laws when you collect data on children. But when you build a database like that, okay, now you're set up to offer products, goods and services to that child or to the parents of that child for the rest of their lives. As that baby grows, uh, you can sell them, you know, toys that are age or gender specific. And as they get bigger and bigger, you can sell them clothes and you can sell them summer camps and you can sell them everything through it. As they go all the way up through college, you know, you can offer the parents or the kids cars and home loans and, and uh, insurance. And, and you can could turn around and sell the leads to car dealers or mortgage brokers or insurance companies. You'd have to structure it so that you had the people's permission or you, you notified them that you were selling the information to these companies. But something, a site like that, cutebabiesnames.com, lets you capture information, uh, perhaps from parents who are first go there looking for names that are popular names for a baby, and it's easy to put that on a website. And then while they're there, they register uh, for whatever, a free audio that talks about raising a healthy child or how to take care of yourself and make sure that when, that you are healthy so the baby's born healthy. And from there, you've, you start building a database and then you offer things that that parent would want. Well, that child, but not only that child, future children, and if you deliver a lot of value into the lives of those parents and the child, then those parents will be customers for a long, long, long time, and they're gonna tell all their friends about you. So they're gonna send you business forever, as long as they're happy with your customer service, okay? Now, the next domain name I have is goutpainremedies.com. I've noticed that most people have a very low tolerance of physical pain. And I've seen people with diseases like uh, gout, like sciatica, uh, people who had uh, pains in different parts of their bodies. And you know, I, I watched them and my first thinking is, wow, you're a wimp. <laughs> and the reason I think that is because I started studying karate in 1980, I'm sorry, 1978. And um, so I, I have extensive you know, training in the martial arts. And I've been punched and kicked about everywhere you can imagine. And I've had bones broken and things like that. So my tolerance of pain is very high, but I've noticed a lot of people when they get even a little cramp or something, they want relief. And they'll go to the doctor and saying, you know, my back's hurting or whatever. The doctor tries to figure out what's wrong. And, uh, you know, so if their upper back's hurting, maybe it's where the muscles are running it in through the uh, shoulder or whatever. It's a muscle, it's a ligament, it's whatever, and, you know, or if it's a hip aching, maybe a sciatica or something like that, you know, people want relief from that pain. And so gout is a throbbing foot pain that's caused by uh, uh, what, cysteines in, in the blood system, little crystals that build up in the joints. Um, and so people want relief from that. So if you're on the site, site like gout pain remedies, you could sell all kinds of things that cure gout. You could also talk about natural things that cure it as well as pharmaceutical things and earn commissions when somebody buys any of those. You know, stepping in front of people who have pains uh, is very powerful. Uh, the next one I list uh, is herbalacnecure.com. You know, when I was a teenager, I had acne and you know, all, these little, all these pimples everywhere. And there was times when I didn't even want to go outside because I was embarrassed. And so I bought this benzoyl peroxide product that 
heated your face up and it, it was sort of painful actually. And yet now you can get oils and salves and herbal things that aren't that painful uh, that will clear, clear, clear your acne up or clear a person's acne up. And, what, and that's whether it's a teenager or a lot of adults have the same problem. Now here's the thing about that. Uh, when somebody uses a product like that, uh, chances are they're going to keep reordering. You know, they, they buy whatever acne treatment and they buy month after month after month after month. So once you gain a customer, you've got recurring income. They, they reorder every month or two months, depending on how much they, they, they buy. And so having a site like that can be extremely, extremely profitable. Now, that's all the domain names that my team has listed thus far. Uh, they must have at least 100 more they'll get listed today. And these are going to, I told them that, to start at about 50 bucks and take it up from there. These domain names will work anywhere from a couple hundred up into the thousands. Uh, again, a domain name is worth what someone's willing to pay for it, but the perfect domain name for a business or someone who wants to sell certain things is worth a lot. And I recommend you get domain names that solve people's painful problems. And know, not enough money. Uh, people spend a lot of money on their pets, their children. They spend a lot of money on their health as they should. Uh, many of us in the Western world in particular are overweight, so we spend a lot of money on weight loss products uh, and products to treat all kinds of ailments. So any of those are good to get in front of, as well as like you know, I mentioned things like transmission service, because when you have to get your car fixed, you have to get your car fixed or you walk, you know. And it's, just, it's the same with if you have a leaky roof, you got to get it fixed or you're going to have water all in your house. And so some of those are extremely, extremely valuable. Just stepping in front of a problem that people have and solving that problem. I've covered what I wanted to cover today. And so I'm going to take this recording and I'm going to share it in numerous other places. Um, and I thank you for joining me. If you found the value, in uh, today's presentation, I ask you to share it with your friends and followers, and, and I thank you. And again, the recording will be available for anyone to watch for, for a long time. And what I'll do every day is I or a team member will update that page on my blog, which is at willycrawford.org forward slash one, that's the number one, dash number two. Uh, you go there and you'll see a continuously updated list of domain names that are for sale at well below market value. And um, as a domain name is sold, it will be removed from that list. And as we get new ones, we'll add those to the list, always at below market value. So thank you for joining me and uh, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Take care.